In this webinar, we will learn how to set up and customize the treatment plan module. This webinar is designed for users who would like to learn more tips on efficiently utilizing the treatment plan module. The following items will be covered. Module preferences, individual treatment plan notes, priorities, customizing display fields, and the treatment plan sheet overview. To start out with, we're going to take a look at some of the settings we have for the treatment plan module itself. Under Setup, Treat Plan, we can see these here. Right up at the top, we have the default treatment plan note. This is what will show up on all treatment plans unless it is changed individually. This will be the default for any new plans that are created as well. The treatment plan note can be changed on an individual plan basis as well, down at the bottom of the individual treatment plan here. And this is what will show when this treatment plan is printed or it's emailed. To the right, we also have frequency checking. On older versions of Open Dental, frequency limitations or frequency checking are on a separate tab. In the latest version, we have all of our settings just in one large window here. This is where you can define specific procedure codes to check for frequency limitations on insurance. If you have an insurance plan where the patient has a frequency limitation for their profi, once every six months, Open Dental is going to look for these two procedure codes to show whether or not that patient has had two profis in that time frame. To the right for insurance history, these are the procedure codes that will be used when checking the history for insurance. Um, if separate procedure codes have been entered that were done at another location, those will show up here and will show on your family module under the insurance history. If a procedure code matching that definition has been completed, there will be a date right here at the bottom of the patient's insurance. And then as we briefly touched on with the default treatment plan note, there's also the option for an individual treatment plan note. So if we make changes here, it will not change the default treatment plan note for any other patients. It's just going to affect the treatment plan note on a treatment plan that is printed or emailed for this specific patient. From here as well, we can see the different priorities available for your treatment plan. This can come in handy for wanting to separate out different sorts of treatment. Um, if you're wanting to quickly be able to see treatment that needs to be done together or treatment that needs to be done sooner than other treatment, you can set priorities. Right now we have this extraction is priority one. If we decide that doesn't need to be done quite as quickly, we can move that down to priority three and then move this scaling and root planning and x-ray back to priority one. It will also quickly give you subtotals of those different priorities and can be helpful if you want to split up different procedures that may be done on different appointments and be able to quickly see what the fees and patient portions will be for those particular appointments. And there are fields here, like our fee allowed, primary insurance discount, etc. And there are also additional fields like the priority, tooth number, surface, and code. These are customizable and you can choose which fields show up here in the treatment plan module. That is by going to setup and display fields. If we check here under treatment plan module, we can decide if we don't want the priority to show on our treatment plan, that can be removed off. You can put in a field for the date that procedure was treatment planned and move that up. And if we wanted to go ahead and put priority back, we can do so here as well. And we can also change the order in which these different 
fields show on the treatment plan. So if you click OK now, you can see we have the pointer rate is back where it was before. And then we also now have the date that these procedures were treatment planned showing here in our treatment plan module. And when printing your treatment plan, it's not going to print exactly as you see here. If we go to Setup and Sheets, this is where you can determine what will print when creating your treatment plan. Over on the left is just the default treatment plan sheet, and this cannot be edited. The default or internal sheet is always going to remain the same. However, you can copy that template in order to make changes. Any of these blue fields here, Open Dental is going to fill in automatically. These grids as well will be filled out. However, you can add additional static text fields, images if you wanted to add your office logo and things of that nature. This can all be done here in the treatment plan sheet setup. And if we close out here, That is what will generate when you are emailing or printing your treatment plan, and you'll generate a PDF that looks similar to this. And you'll see you have your tooth chart, and it prints all of the treatment plan procedures along with your family and insurance benefits and individual insurance benefits. For additional resources on the treatment plan, we will have those linked in the video description below.